Hi folks, today we're going over the Affliction Warlock Mage Tower. Completed on January 3rd. No permanent corruption. It's it's easy to want to do that because you have fewer button presses, but the fact is since you're kiting, you have plenty of time to apply uh, instant cast dots to targets. Siphon life, it's going to be more damage for your raptures, more burst damage overall. A couple things you might want is you might want um, an at-focus macro for Curse of Exhaustion here. Um, it just Make sure that you don't have to reselect Karam. Mortal Foil, an excellent choice for this as the Horrify is unbreakable and typically goes in the opposite direction from which you uh, blast it down as soon as Raced is up to get as much damage on, on him before you are forced to kite again. You wanna keep kiting the adds through Raced uh, as best you can. Uh, you can strategically set up your self portal and your gate to, to allow this to happen. I am running a Humming Black Dragon Scale from Nihilotha, as well as Bear Tartar, which gives you movement speed upon killing blow. I had about 18% of race damage. I don't know if it's just AF sucks or I suck or whatever, but I just really couldn't get beyond that. This is one of the last towers I did. The Stacking Drain Life talent is uh, super great for that because it's 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 very bursty, right? Even if you're not at 50 stacks, uh, you can largely destroy a hand with that uh, in a pinch. I'm not sure I did it even too often on this. Usually just the, the kick and the dots were enough. I did eat a, a, a blast or two, but frankly, that's a warlock perk. Uh, you can see I am keeping the slow on Karim there. I'm keeping at least agony on him. One thing you don't want to let, let fall off is agony. You're going to lose a lot of damage for that. It's a bit, very, very long ramp up time. The rest, obviously, you want to maintain your dots as, as well as you can. But if they fall off, it's it's less bad than if Agony falls off, frankly. Additionally, Agony is also going to proc you Soul Shards. Um, the Nightfall passive, I believe it is. It used to be Corruption, now it's not, whatever. Vile Taint uh, was pretty instrumental for my strategy here. And you can see that dots just finishing off that hand. Like, I don't even swap to it. Pretty confident. I also have a pet move to macro, um, which is great for the hands here, or the, the, sorry, the circular soaks, but I also take the opportunities to soak them myself plenty. Moving your pet off is a damage loss, and you are moving anyway. I'm doing a real bad job, because typically the area I'm kiting them through right now is, is, is where a lot of the portals tend to spawn, and you don't really want to butter that up with junk. But we go for something, at least I didn't do this on any other tunes, but again, warlocks are special. Uh, and you see kiting through all the targets so we get the vile taint on everything we we missed the kick there because we're not good but the drain life talent full heals us we moved to this damage on raced as we can here and race does some weird funky stuff where he will just rush you and melee you for like no reason um not my best moment here but we get to kick we get stuff running through itself we reapply our curse of exhaustion here and it's just always kiting through the actual target. So whenever you're applying a stun or anything, I got pretty fortunate here. Shadow Fury, whenever it gets close, kind of you want to use that conservatively, in my opinion, um, because it is so powerful. We redot raced, get the agony refresh on them, and get the kick here. And you just you see it just flooded with shards, right? You, you really can't spend them fast enough. Get a little lucky there as Race's uh, swing timer was um, just kiting around the, the big perimeter when I can. Karim's 8k damage away. He's he's going soon. I think those are melees I'm taking like very at the very max range. When you are soaking the circle, you also want to make sure you're kind of like in the exact middle middle because you can soak part of the circle and then it shrinks, you know, uh, through your, your hitbox and then you're not soaking it anymore. We missed the refresh on the agony there. And now that it's just us, you'll need see he, he does that rush melee thing and the only reason I stay in this circle is because I am pumping that drain life. All the stacks are removed as soon as one tick goes off, so you really can't afford to, to interrupt that. And it will out heal the puddle. Trust trimming our dots up, plenty of time to move. Mangled my action bar with this. I put haunt on um my covenant ability find right because we can't use you see vile taint just doing 
tons of damage. My bear tartar movement speed buff is just going crazy. Pretty much refreshing permanently. I do use the pet move here uh, because this was such a good damage opportunity. I didn't want to lure the other adds away from race because I can get the stun here. I can get a refresh on taint again. But Warlock, pretty tanky. Uh, I don't have wall up yet. And the tab agonies, again, are for soul shards. Uh, occasionally you're flooded with them, but you do want to make sure you're keeping some on, on the adds. You don't really have to refresh these. You're just looking for the shard regen utility of them. Uh, the damage doesn't really... I mean, Black Dragon Scale buff is going off. It, it's, it's just a little bit of movement speed. Wherever you can get it, the movement speed's really good. Except Burning Rush. I, I, um, pretty sure I'm running Demon Skin here. My only advice for the... The charge melee from raced is to stay within like evoker range right like 25 ish yards we get the pet on that one game over not too too bad um i don't know if you have any questions specifically I, again i did this on january 3rd i think this was post raced buffs could be wrong but uh that's affliction warlock thanks for watching guys